and welcome to my workshop. A very windy workshop outside. So today we're going to continue with the 30 watt Rakus fiber laser. So today we're going to etch this test card, okay, which is a power and speed setting grid then if, if you were. Uh, we're going to etch it into this aluminium plate. It's uh, one millimeter, which is just under, well, just over a 32nd of an inch. Um, so we're going to use the 200 millimeter lens and then we're going to swap that lens out because this morning I took delivery of my new I've got to be very careful with these very delicate very expensive uh, well I won't take the casing off it but that's what a lens looks like it fits up in there uh, this is a little extension housing so that stays there and you just unscrew the the base off it uh, and then screw this in and I'll, I'll show you how to do that a little bit later um, but this is a 110 by 110 millimeter working area lens and uh, I do notice in a couple of the comments uh, people are saying to me oh just because you change the lens you don't increase the power well actually you do the available power of the laser is concentrated into a smaller area and it's a fact that if you use a larger focal area lens you do lose quite a bit of the power because it's that you have you know the power is distributed over a larger area okay um, so we're gonna that's one of the points we're going to prove so what I'm going to do is etch this into into this aluminium plate then we'll swap the lenses over and uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison okay so I'm going to do this in real time so it takes oh a minute and a half maybe possibly two minutes but I'm going to leave it in real time so you can see, uh, you know, how quick or how slow uh, the fiber laser will actually etch. Um, so, first of all, we're going to red light it. Okay, so we're going to put it, we get in the middle there like that. So and I'll put the other one alongside it. Okay, so camera's right oh what's happened to the camera I'll try and improve my camera skills too I did notice that uh, there's a little bit out of focus I'll see if I can keep this in focus so here we go I'm gonna stop the red light marker now and here we go we're marking nearly so here we go we're marking now This is all in real time. And I think this will mark your Pat's uh, mic over there in Portland. You can probably see a little bit better than what I can because I got my. Uh, protective eyewear on so it's uh, you know, it's like wearing welding, welding goggles you can actually see better than what I can
I'm actually looking down the uh, through the camera viewer now, which uh, I can see a lot better that way. And you can see the pieces of aluminium being flaked off, bombarded by the laser. And now some being burnt up as well. That's what the sparks are. So, you know, peak power, this is actually producing uh, close to 24 kilowatts. And that's what it'll do. There we go. Okay, well there's very little effect at 10%. Uh, and you can see it's not until you get up to, well, I suppose 30% power then that's when it starts to do something uh, you can actually see there is a very very slight discoloration but when it gets to 40 percent it starts to polish the aluminium especially up at the the high speed area more polished than anything and then we sort of start getting into the different shades of grey which is actually removing material. Um, interesting here area and of course then we come up the power levels and the slower we go, the slower it goes and the higher the power the darker the mark. Incidentally this graphic uh, program was originally drawn up by a Jeffrey J Okay, so let's change lenses now. Okay, so if you're wondering what one of these lenses looks like, that's it there. There's a fine thread here. So, um, now let me see. Down onto that. So to get these out you've got to be fairly careful with them. Just hold the extension. Okay, let's turn this off first. Alright, so it's totally turned off now. Now unscrew this. So this is the 200 millimeter focal lens. Be very careful with these, they're quite expensive. Okay, that's slightly different visually. Uh, obviously, the outside is identical, and make sure that they are fairly identical in size because you don't want this pushing up inside and come in in contact with the galvo mirrors up in there. They're way up out the way. So, don't, whatever you do, cross thread this. It's easy to do. It's easy to put on too, so just be very gentle. Slide it in there. And so, Just snug, don't over tighten it. Okay. So now we can go back to the program. Now I, in the background I am going to alter the program to suit this lens, which will take me five minutes. And um, I'll bring you back in and we'll see what, 
But first of all, we're going to do a focusing test. So we're going to find out the focus of the new lens, as in up and there. And uh, then we will burn this test cat alongside it so we can get a direct comparison. Okay, so if I can get this camera in focus, I think we're going to be away. Uh, let me just red light this. I think somewhere about there. Uh, this is going to be interesting to see how this uh, turns out because the when I did the focus with it just now, it was uh, huh, it was tw should we say twice as lively then. So um, here we go. I'm going to burn this now, and you see the difference with this lens. This is all in real time as well, by the way. Look how he's biting into that material. If I can get the camera to behave itself. Very much livelier. I'll have to stay out this far because the camera just gets overpowered. You can actually hear the laser hitting the material. Now it's just stripping off the aluminium. You can actually tell at this very early stage that you know, just changing the lens ups the concentration of power. I think I'm, that, that's not just the Galvo mirrors that you can hear, that's the actual laser hitting the material. So we have a power and speed test card now that um, working on aluminium we can you know choose from this uh, a power setting for any particular job. So uh, actually it turns out with quite a bit of a, a demonstration on doing uh, writing as well and uh, you know the sky is the limit with the uh, etching with, with uh, a fiber laser um, and of course it's going to be different on different materials uh, you know, steel is going to be one setting um, stainless steel is going to be another setting gold another and what have you there's two materials that I'm interested on um, working with and that is brass and, and stainless steel um, but I think the majority of my work is going to be with uh, aluminium because it's <laughs> you can do such a lot with it. Put this video together, I'll try and leave everything real time uh, just to show you how quickly this thing can get something done. Uh, I mean, the, the, you know, the writing around here, uh, if did it in a matter of a couple of seconds, you know. Um, yeah, really, really pleased.
and okay then so we've covered quite a lot today um, I want to try and leave this all in one video so it might be 30 minutes long or so anyway so if you've liked the video please like and subscribe and uh, again this channel does need some help to keep going so if you would like to become a patron to the channel patron information is down below this video in the video description area along with a discount code there for the Carvco products and also a discount code there for Fusion 360 so uh, on that note it's uh, bye until the next video bye for now